Yeah, just reporting back on the uh, welder lid. Um, this is the new 10 mil that's now at the bottom of this sheet. There's the old crack. I've opened up the old sheet so I've got access to the, to the 10 mil polycarbonate so it will be a lot better for, for the pressure and it'll be stronger. Uh, I've noticed um, while checking the terminals um, a bit of a surprise. The the brass threaded rod that I used to connect all these together has actually broken off. Look at that, it's all broken. I haven't taken it apart yet, but the two nuts holding it on has also cracked. There you can see the cracks. Well, this one's broken in two, and this one here has got a little hole through it. I don't know if you can see it on this. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, this, this is the two nuts that sandwiched this this lug um, similar to this side that's now all dried up and you can see the the is all white um, I'm going to change this all to stainless steel 316 no more brass in my electrodes um, I have decided oh yeah one more thing I want to show you guys um, the first side I cut um, on my laser with for, for the electrode it was this is perspex which is acrylic commonly known or perspex but the first one I cut is was um, polycarbonate and, and I just want to show you how the electrolysis reacted with the polycarbonate this is very interesting and I didn't show this I don't know why but now I think it's time to share this information um, here you can see it's like it's very fine cracks on it but right around the edges everywhere there's, there's cracks yet the perspex or acrylic is perfect this has been in the electro box for for many moons and um, it's perfect yes yeah, so no uh, polycarbonate in the electro in, in the electrolysis process because it reacts and of course no brass or copper as you can see here the nuts are broken the shaft is broken it's all, all wobbly you see that and that was a solid shaft so now it's going to be only stainless